Howdy partners and welcome to episode 11 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Frontier Adventure here on Theme Park Worldwide. In this episode I'm going to be building a heavily themed family roller coaster that's going to be located in this mini area. Of course it's Fort Cherokee. I started work on this in the last episode just by building the bridge going over the water to it. And uh, yes this mini area is located between Tampost and also Santa Fe. So yeah that's what I'm starting work on. Um, right now the actual front of the fortress so you're going to see this whole ride come together in this episode and also of course all of the theming around it and we'll end the episode with a full POV and some off-ride shots as well so yes it's all going to come together in this one episode so um, yeah it's going to be nice to see this come together quite quickly actually because really the past three episodes have all been focused around the dark ride of course Dirty Dan's Desert Deluge that I'm really pleased with the interactive dark ride came together even better than what I was originally anticipating so if you haven't already seen those episodes make sure you check them out here on theme park worldwide like I say there was two episodes building the main part of the dark ride itself um, and then in episode 10 it was working on the facades around the front of the attraction and also as well putting in a couple of flat rides and talking to those flat rides I asked for your name suggestions so I'm going to be uh, revealing those in a few minutes time as well and going through the names that I've picked out and as always Always, there was lots and lots of absolutely amazing suggestions so thank you so much to everyone who takes the time um, to come up with their name suggestions right then here you can see the family coaster that I've gone for that we're going to be putting in um, now it is a mine train coaster from Vacoma however it's not going to have a mining theme um, because of a couple of reasons really uh, the first of those is we've got a mine themed area that um, is at the other side of the park where the log flume is and of course there's going to be one more three thrill coaster there that's going to have a heavy theme around mining um, so I didn't kind of want to overdo the same themes too much so I thought let's go with this fortress and um, that's what I'm working on just here very different uh, building style for me here to what I normally do I'm using these wooden logs and kind of lining them all up against each other um, and then of course I can use the fantastic tools in Planet Coaster um, to move them into position and exactly work out where I want them to go so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with exactly how that's uh, coming together so far. You can see that I started with the first section at the front, uh, then put in the two turrets at the side, which I'm just straightening out there to make sure they fit where I want them. And then of course you've got um, all the other walls that I'm starting to uh, put into place there as well. And some more logs as like a bit of a finishing touch um, on the front of those. So yeah, I'm pleased with how this is coming together so far. Right at the back of Fort Cherokee, of course you've got uh, the station area um, and all that's gonna actually feature in this mini area is just the ride itself you're going to have a very small amount of footpath inside the area uh, and then of course the queue line that i'm just starting to put in here so i kind of wanted to build the queue line and build the fort or you know at least part of it before i actually went and did the layout of the coaster because the fortress is the whole idea behind this and that's where i'm going to need you guys to come up with an absolutely amazing storyline so of course see what you think to it over the next sort of 10 15 minutes as the ride comes together the theming then starts to come in and uh, yeah come up with some absolutely amazing names um, and storylines i'm looking forward to reading them as always you're still going to have a couple more opportunities to name attractions as well of course um, but yes this is a, a nice family coaster that the park really needs now doesn't it um, we've got a great selection of rides now for all age groups but uh, when it comes to a family coaster that's just something what there isn't yet in this park every coaster we've got is very thrilling so I think it'll be a really nice fit into the lineup and let's face it um, doing a, a Wild West themed park like this we had to have a, a, a mine train style coaster didn't we uh, even though it's not particularly themed to, to the mining aspect of it um, we had to go for that style style of coaster from Vicaruma because it looks the part doesn't it and it fits in beautifully as you can see here I've just upped the terrain a little bit putting some more rock work just to cover some more of the uh, show building there for the dark ride just wanted to make sure that um, you know that doesn't detract too much from the experience and of course with the layout of the coaster as you're going to see in the next few minutes um, I will actually be taking it round the back parts of the show building um, for the dark ride so I am going to have to add some theming onto the back of the building there just to make sure that of course that fits in um, and doesn't look out of 
of place for guests when they're on board the ride. So here we go. Yeah, starting the layouts. Now, it's not going to be too long. It's going to feature two lift dills. Um, a lot of the time, these Vekoma mine trains do feature three lift dills, three sections to the ride. Not this one. It's not going to be that long. It's not going to be that fast. Um, it's more going to be, you know, quite a tame um, ride, really. But I am going to make sure that, you know, it's got some good sort of areas where there's some nice transitions to but it's not really going to be too quick now with it also being um, a bit of a kind of rough attraction um, you know you know you look at these and think yeah you know you want them to be a bit kind of rough around the edges going through the rocks that sort of thing um, I'm making sure that we've got some very weird transitions on here so it creates a bit of a bumpy experience nothing too uncomfortable but a bit like Big Thunder Mountain in a way they purposely put um, sections of track on there that um, just aren't quite right are they you know and, and it just makes the, the the train move to different places where you wouldn't normally expect a, a roller coaster train to go so that is exactly um, what I'm doing here with this uh, roller coaster as well now as you can see um, that first section of the ride a couple of helixes um, nice interactions with uh, other parts of the ride but of course it's all going to be uh, very much covered up um, with all sorts of rock work and tunnels all the way around this as well and with the theme behind this ride um, it's more going to be about going on this journey kind of through the wilderness uh, there's not going to be loads of um, buildings and theming to look at there's going to be a few um, like I've got plans for um, a couple of buildings on top of the lift hills however that's more to fit with the fortress theme i'm thinking it's kind of some sort of expedition that is being done from the fortress that's what i'm kind of thinking with the storyline for this one so bear that in mind when you're coming up with your uh, names and of course storyline suggestions so yeah you can see we've got the second lifter in place there nice bit of airtime, um some very questionable transitions which you'd expect on a ride of this type and then of course it banks around there uh, into the brake run so yeah it's not the longest of rides it's not certainly the most exciting um, of, of layouts either but that was kind of done intentionally because i didn't want this to be too much at all i just wanted it to be a good fun family coaster um, but it, i didn't want it to be too fast too exhilarating that's what the other rides are for in the park so um, i just think it does what it says on the tin this ride uh, you know it's a it's a big thunder mountain isn't it really but without um it having that theme like i said i didn't want to do a a knockoff big thunder mountain with three lift hills possibly in the middle of the water i just didn't want to do that i thought let's go completely down a different route and do a um a fortress for this of course um so yeah that's exactly what we've uh, we've gone for with this here just starting to do a bit of work on the terrain now around the side as you can see there changing some of the colors of the terrain and also building up some of these sections now doing the terraforming which i absolutely love in planet co so that's one of my favorite parts of the game actually is building up these mountains and hills and tunnels uh, honestly i love it and i think that's one of the best features i mean there's things in planet coast that i absolutely love and there's some things that i'm not as keen on but um, with this I, I just really love the terraforming it's so easy and it's more realistic compared to the likes of um you know if you're old school playing roller coaster tycoon you know it's, it's you know it's a lot a lot more realistic than that and easier and you know it just doesn't take as much time to do which is rare because normally in planet coaster things take a long time but that isn't the case with terraforming um you know you can uh, really just get stuck into it and it doesn't take that long at all but yeah pleased with how uh, exactly this is all coming together so far like i say you've got the back of the show building there for dirty dan's desert dalu so uh, i'm not going to be blocking that in um with rock work um and hills there's actually going to be facades put onto those kind of like what i did round um on the front of the show building a similar kind of style to that um, what i'm going to do on the back just there and uh, to make that fit in from all around the area anyway i think it's time that we uh, go through the names that i've picked for the uh, of course couple of flat rides that are built in episode 10 um, so let's go through those firstly big thank you to mr fish for coming up with a great name for the carousel it's buffalo bills giddy up go round so there we go thank you what a great name for the carousel thought uh, it'd be nice to of course give buffalo bill a mention um, in this park somewhere so yeah that's uh, what we've gone for there buffalo bills giddy up go round for the carousel uh, along with that as well we've got the the swift eagles attraction of course that we put in there nice spinning interactive ride uh, game master james has come up with vulture vengeance um, i thought that would be a, a great name actually i thought um, that would be a brilliant name for a coaster as well to be honest but when i saw that i thought well i've not really got a coaster that's going to fit with that now in this park but um, you know what 
Vulture Vengeance. I thought it'd be a great name for the Swift Eagle. So thank you very much for coming up with that one. Uh, but like I said, I am going to need a name and a nice in-depth storyline that kind of brings in the fortress, of course, that we've got here. And uh, yeah, just thinking up about uh, you know the overall theme and storyline about it. So honestly, I'm looking forward to reading them. I always enjoy reading your comments on the Planet Coaster videos and all the videos on the channel, but especially on, on Planet Coaster where you're coming up with name suggestions. And uh, yes, get them coming in. And of course, I'll reveal that in next week's episode. Anyway, I'm finally going to be able to tell you how many episodes are left in this series because I started the series not really knowing how many episodes there was going to be. Um, I'm happy to confirm that there's going to be another three episodes left in this series before, of course, the park is completed. Um, so there's going to be another two episodes of building. That's all going to be completing this mine-themed area um, and also um, the Oatman area, of course, where all the oil is. So I'm going to be back over to the right-hand side of the park once this uh, mine train coast is all in. Uh, this left-hand side of the park is complete. It's, it's off to the right-hand side now. Between the log flume and the RMC that really does need the uh, the work doing now to get that finished off. So that is going to be coming up um, and that's something to look forward to um, in the uh, next couple of episodes. And then of course the final episode um, which will be on April the 7th uh, will be the opening of the park and of course we'll be doing a big promotional video we'll be getting guests in, staff in and just seeing how um, everybody reacts to, to this park in the game so yeah I'm looking forward to that so yes three more episodes um, to go in this series of Frontier Adventure meaning of course that in total it'll have been uh, 14 episodes at the end of the series uh, perfect timing ready for the theme parks to reopen of course the following Monday this episode will be on the Wednesday then the theme parks on the Monday in terms of when the next planet coaster video or series will be on the channel um you know it's going to be a little while now because like i say the plan is to get out there and keep on riding <laughs> of course and go and get on all the different rides and theme parks um i want to do that so much i've had a, a you know a, a lot of time spent indoors like we all have but um doing filming videos for the channel and planet coaster videos i'm just so excited to get out there and start vlogging and filming things uh, i'm not going to be sitting in playing planet coaster when these theme parks are open um i'll be honest so uh, yeah it's going to be all about getting out there i'm going to have a bit of a break from planet coaster and i think you need to sometimes when you do these big complex parks with a lot of theme in and a lot of hours and time goes into them you know it's nice to just have a bit of a uh, a bit of a break away from them sometimes and and that is the plan so get this uh, series completed across the next three episodes and then uh, planet coaster will resume later in 2021 i'm not going to give a month or a time because like i said i don't want to kind of commit to that yet let's just see how the year sort of pans out but um of of course there's going to be more planet coast to come in but expect it more later in the year i may even possibly go down the route of doing a few smaller individual rides like i, I have spoke about before but i've still not done uh, because i got straight into doing another series uh, another two series with christmas wonderland and frontier adventure uh, so i may even do that they might drop over summer at some point they might not you know i'm not going to set dates and commit to it um it all depends on how much time i've got and um you know travel restrictions and can we go abroad can't we go abroad and all that kind of stuff so we'll see but uh, yeah for now there is definitely going to be a break of planet coaster content but i just want to say and uh, thank you so much to everybody who's followed all of the different series that i've filmed over the past uh, four years here on the channel and of course uh, yeah it will be back um net over the next three weeks as we complete frontier adventure Going back to the build then just here, um, of course it's coming on nicely now, working on uh, all the theming elements now um, around this new family roller coaster. Um, we've got the station area there, got a bit of a cover over the uh, actual track, but not over the air gates and the rest of the station. I thought it makes it look a bit different to all the other stations that have done if we keep this fortress, uh, Fort Cherokee, open up, um, of course, so people can, uh, you know, all see out of here and we can have some nice sort of interaction going on between the queue lines and the station and yeah just keep it all very open um, around this area now like I say there's going to be no other rides in here as you can see it's a very small compact little mini area um, but that was intentional there's not even any facilities in here uh, there is a toilet block 
uh, just opposite the bridge what takes you over to here so I thought that was perfectly adequate uh, we don't need anything out in the, in the actual fortress itself and that kind of adds to the theming a lot more um, I thought let, let, let's kind of you know keep it really immersive in here like you walk inside these four walls you know that are all made of all these logs um, and there's no facilities there's no other rides um, it's just this one attraction so um, yeah of course we've got the, the main bridge itself which is quite thin I'm hoping we don't get too much of a bottleneck um, with crowds heading over there but I'm hoping that there's enough rides in the park and especially now I've put some more filler rides in to kind of support that um, so there isn't too much of a bottleneck I suppose worst case scenario is that you know I could make the uh, make the, the bridge a little bit wider but I didn't want to kind of have an exit and a queue line coming out of the fortress onto the sort of mainland if you know what I mean I wanted it to just be one path that went over and then of course it was a bit of a mystery you can't really see this coaster much from outside of it um, and then you walk up and then you can just kind of see the station and you still can't see much of the the layout so it's quite a like I say it's more of a, a journey um, kind of through the wilderness more than through the mines you know like mine shafts like Big Thunder Mountain would be it's so yeah it's a very different style of theme even though the ride itself does look similar um, in a way too um, as you can see here just added some more details now around the top of the fortress uh, this is looking great actually considering I didn't know how this building was gonna come together to be honest because um, like yeah you know I didn't really know what materials to use like did I use all the other wooden style buildings like I've done for the turrets on the corners or did I you know use something else but I'm, I'm quite glad that I went for all the logs now I think it looks really good actually I'm very pleased with exactly how um, that is looking and of course it's all about uh, finishing off the the little details around there now so and um, we got the uh, queue line itself to finish off some more um, wooden poles and other details around there just putting on them uh, roof panels there now um, just to make sure that of course that's nicely covered over um, and finished off from around the front and then there's some more other details that I'm going to add into place too we're going to put some more windows in on there um, some of them little ropes of course that I like putting in places more barrels more rope wrapped up all that kind of stuff the little details that have appeared in so many places throughout this park but um, let's Let's face it you know you've got to fill in these gaps and make it um, you know look fully immersive in my opinion and that is exactly uh, what, what I've done with uh, everything so far um, so yeah just finishing these uh, buildings off and uh, yeah we're gonna be uh, nearly done and I'll be sharing some on-ride footage um, in just a few minutes time for you to see um, of this new family roller coaster so what is going to be coming up then in the next three episodes the final three episodes in the series um so i just thought I'd, I'd sort of run through that now so you know exactly what to expect including the rides that i'm going to be building so here we go a lot of people have commented saying they want to see this ride um and i did drop a hint a couple of episodes back about what it was going to be so i've said there's one more big thrill coaster coming to this park um i said that i'd actually built this as a standalone ride um and then I, i'm going to build like a, a different version of it here um, the standalone ride I never actually released I, I teased it on social media but I just never released it uh, because I kind of did that and thought why don't I build a full Wild West Park uh, but the ride that I'm going to put in quite a lot of you have guessed it in the comments it's going to be another B&M coaster Bolliger and Mabillard of course it's going to be a dive coaster a nice dive machine which is going to be themed around dropping into a mine shaft so looking forward to putting that together uh, that's going to be starting um, in the next episode number 12 so so come back for that next Wednesday here on Theme Park Worldwide. Looking forward to uh, getting stuck in with that one. Um, along with that as well, we're going to be finishing that whole area off, like the entrance and uh, to the log flume, of course, attraction. That That's all going to come as part of this. There's going to be a few changes that I'm going to make actually around uh, that log flume station area just to make it all fit a bit better because I've had some more ideas now. Um, so yeah, that's all going to be uh, coming up in the next couple of episodes. There's also going to be at least one more flat ride um, coming in as well probably um, as part of the Oatman area of course Oatman Oil gonna look at a large flat ride going into there some more restaurants and buildings all down there some more facilities and of course as well I'm gonna be putting in a show venue that's probably gonna be the last thing that I build before we open the park there's gonna be like a stunt show that's going in so it's actually gonna be a very action-packed and um, three episodes they're probably gonna be quite long maybe even the longest episodes of the series but like I say I wanted to get this park all wrapped up before the, th the real thing 
theme parks um, here, of course, in the UK um, start to reopen from April the 12th. So, uh, yeah, that was the plan, really, just to kind of, um, you know, get get this done now, get it finished and, uh, yeah, just move on, really, and, and enjoy some of the, the real parks. And, of course, um, yeah, I very much enjoyed putting this together, uh, but I really feel like I've explored pretty much everything now that I can do with the, the Wild West. With doing quite a big part like this, I am very pleased with exactly um, how it's come together. So, yeah, really exciting dive coaster coming up um, flat, at least one more flat ride some more theming and buildings a show venue and of course the final episode um, episode 14 will be all about showcasing this park taking you on all the rides again it'll be a big bump along episode um, custom ride audio and announcements and all that kind of stuff um, so yeah it's going to be the full package and I'm looking forward to sharing that I'll be doing the video in the same sort of style as that I did Atlas Adventure I know a lot of you really liked that where I did kind of like a promotional video um, so that's going to be coming up um, yeah so stay tuned for that one coming up in three weeks time here on Theme Park Worldwide and of course our Frontier Adventure Planet Coaster series so as I mentioned earlier on I need to make sure that I covered in the back here um, of the show building for Dirty Dan's Desert Deluge still love that name probably my favourite in the park actually and uh, yeah just making sure that that all fits in so when guests are actually coming round the corner um, on this new coaster um, they're not just seeing a bland and boring show building building i need to make sure that that's covered in doesn't matter too much about the other section at the back uh, because you're not really going to see it um, because the ride doesn't go around that area um, so we don't need to worry about that uh, but on this section we do just need to make sure that of course it's got some theming all the way around there Finally then, just adding in some more little details, um, these little wooden sections with some barrels on, um, little towers and that sort of thing. Um, just a few more bits to look at for guests uh, whilst they're actually on board the ride. Like I say, it is more of a, a trip through the wilderness really, so you wouldn't expect to see loads of buildings and that sort of thing. Um, however, I wanted to make sure that I added just a little bit more in because there was a couple of areas where I thought yeah it just needs a little bit more just so it doesn't look um, as empty in them areas um, and then of course just finishing off with a few more rocks around here hashtag rock work of course plenty of that um, probably more rock work than any other series that I've done of Planet Coaster actually in, in Frontier Adventure loads of rocks but you know what it's looking really good and I'm pleased with how it's all come together right then here we go Fort Cherokee here we go let's go for a nice ride um, on this new family coaster Coaster. Like I say, it's been designed to be a bit kind of rough around the edges. Some really close uh, near miss elements on here, some great head choppers. Uh, and here we go. It's not too fast here either. It's just a nice, enjoyable ride. And here we go down that first drop, down to the left. Not too much banking there either. And there we go, straight underneath. Nice bit of head chopper. Bit of airtime round to the right. We've put some misters there as well inside the tunnels just to add to the effects. Yeah, it's just, you know, it doesn't build up too much speed, does it? Up to the uh, second lift hill. Like I say, I could have gone for a, a much bigger and more lavish family coaster, but I thought, no, let's, you know, let's keep it quite toned down for this one. Let's keep the focus on them big thrill coasters. Let's keep uh, heading round to the left there after dropping down. Back underneath again with a nice uh, near miss elements. But yeah, it's come together nicely, hasn't it? Going through all the different tunnels and mix the theme in. Round to the left and up there into the brake run. So yeah, it's, it is quite a, a short ride really. Um, it doesn't feature loads, but that was the intention all the way along really with it. Um, I didn't want it to be anything too big. I didn't want it to take up that too much space either. You know, I just thought let's have it a nice length family coaster that would fit well into the park and I feel like it does so get your name suggestions coming in and a nice storyline of course bringing in Fort Cherokee uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing exactly um, what you come up with for that one and of course three more episodes to go in this series uh, let me know your thoughts on uh, what you're looking forward to the most is it the stunt show arena um, is it maybe the dive coaster or just seeing the park open to guests finally after all this time 11 weeks in now but only three weeks to go until the park will be opening the best to uh, get a move on aren't they these construction teams to get it ready um, in three weeks to build a BM from the ground up um, but there we go now I'm really pleased with it and of course a little bit of off-ride footage there um, just of this new coaster in action so you can see it but there we go the left hand side of the park is nice and complete look at that great view isn't it there absolutely fantastic and I'm really pleased how it's come together I'll be back next Wednesday with episode 12 and get them suggestions coming in I look forward to reading them I'm Sean Sandbrook thanks for watching frontier adventure and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you all next week